I would compare this to the uh, arrival of the World Wide Web in the early 1990s in terms of its enabling capability. Of course, we'll see whether that... Uh, For an end user, the question of whether you're seeing authentic data is a complex technical issue, and end users need tools to be able to identify whether it's true or not. So what we're trying to do is add some additional tools, some additional framework to allow that end user to have more confidence in the place they're going being authentic. Um, the feedback we've got has been overwhelmingly positive. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the, the general summary I would give you is that people are very keen for the route to be signed and they're very happy with the way we're doing it. We go through the steps and we generate this key inside this cryptographic box. And then once that key is generated, uh, we'll have printouts with what is called a hash of the key. In order to engender trust in this process, we've, we've made sure to bring in, um, we've, we've got 21, at least 21 uh, trusted community representatives, what we call it. For this particular meeting, we'll have 14 of them. Uh, they're involved in the process in the sense that they will have control over various uh, smart cards. So what these recovery key shareholders hold is a smart card, which is a piece of a key, but not the, not the root key, but piece of a key used to encrypt the key in tamper evident bags, standard tamper evident bags that, you, that, that banks use, and they're responsible for those. So, and we've set it up so that we need a minimum of five of those people to come together to recreate that encryption key. It's a great pleasure for me to be selected as Europe's uh, recovery key holder uh, for the DNSSEC signing uh, of the route. Uh, this is actually what I'm holding. Uh, it's a smart card which embedded on it is a, a share of the root server's key. The two identical smart cards are stored in a tamper-proof evidence bag. Each smart card contains the same share of parts of the encryption key used to protect the actual root key the KSK. More has happened here today than it meets the eye. Uh, an infrastructure has been created for a hierarchical security system which can be purposed and repurposed in a number of different ways and so I would predict that although we started out putting this system together to assure that the domain name lookups return valid internet addresses that in the long run this hierarchical structure of trust will be applied to a number of other functions that require strong authentication. And so you will have seen a new major milestone in the Internet story.